me do it. Hello and welcome everyone. Your diary is so monitored. <laughs> Welcome everybody to another exciting episode of Carla Miller's Box Breakers, or as we like to call it, CBQ. Yeah, let's break a box. Is that better or gentler? Honestly, I actually do prefer it. Yeah, indeed. As ever, let's take a quick look at the rules. Jay and I will be opening a booster pack from the latest collection. Any rare cards, cards that feature a star, score points. Scoring is very simple. We head on over to the current price list on TCG Player and determine your rare card or card's value. That value is rounded up to the nearest whole number. But the fun doesn't stop there. Each week, we'll also spin the wheel of energy to determine this episode's type advantage. If the energy in your pack matches the type advantage, then your entire pack gets a two times multiplier. And you get an additional point for each mon of that type in your your pack. Lastly, there are also three randomly chosen common chase cards that are worth one additional point each. So if your energy card matches the type advantage, you pull two randomly chosen common chase cards and your rare card is worth $3.75, that will be rounded up to four plus two points for the common chase cards gives you six points times two for the energy and your final score is 12. And now it is time for the Wheel of Energy. Will it be a three-peat? No, has it been a three-peat? It no, has it now. We had two eyeball, one grass. I don't know. It feels like it's heating up in here today. I'm feeling fireball, but who knows? Two eyeballs and one grass yeah. is like a really gross salad. Like, two eyeballs and grass. Band name. Rock is pummeling! Hey! Yes! Hey, what a oh good omen! Gosh. That is a good omen, especially because one of our randomly chosen common chase cards today is Knackley, along with Shinx and Heracross, but Knackley is also the uh, fighting type energy, so uh, if that pops up, it'll be worth two points today. That's exciting. I know, that is super exciting. Also, yeah. after after the last episode where we had Woo! the eight times multiplier. Yeah, for Carly. For Carly, who is now sitting atop the leaderboard in a commanding victory with 80, 80 points, points at the moment. I only want it to happen again, but I don't know if it can because there's not gold fighting energy. Okay, okay, yeah. so maybe not today, maybe not today. But that being said, we, all, we have another interesting placement at the moment with Ken's, or I don't know if they want us to pronounce it as Ken Z. Like I think K it's probably all the Ken, all of the Ken's from the Barbie movie. Oh! Collectively. Ken's, they're so playing all of together. Them. They're, they're yeah. like a The big, Ken's. Nice, I love it. Well, they are currently sharing uh, both the Big Steve Award and the Quality 8th Place Award, and I say sharing, but they stand in that position both those positions by themselves. Yeah, by themselves. So sharing it with themselves, if nothing else changes in the top eight, they will take on both awards, but that would be a really boring next like 12 to 11 boxes. So. I know. I feel like, that way, I, I feel like if, if we got that close to it, it'd be like, we gotta change boxes. We gotta, we gotta, this is a bad set. Anyway, let's go ahead and start opening cards. Today's first contestant is gonna be Collard Cow 41. Collard Cow! Collard Cow, fun fact, they make pizza. Oh! Yeah. Hey! That's fun. So, like toss it in the air and the whole bit. Oh man, I wish awesome. I knew how to do that. That's I mean, I guess I, I have the the theory down. Uh, in theory, okay, maybe one day we'll we'll do Super Carlin Gaming pizza flipping, but for real. Jamers Ben Pizza Toss. Yeah, I like but that. it's actually more like us throwing cooked pizzas like frisbees for oh, distance. For distance, yeah. we can go to a froth course. Yeah, or a try. It'd be like discus. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I want to open first. Okay, do it. I have, yeah. I have a good feeling. About opening first. All right. Well, this is uh, Colin Cow is playing for Team Water, who was uh, also doing pretty well. They command three of the top five spots, and uh, but actually, they're only in second because of Carly's eighty-point pack. Yes. Yeah, so Team Electric uh, after Carly shot into first place overall. So that's that's not that. We're gonna do that there. We got the Metal Energy right off the no top. No Slack off the Whooper, the Pikachu, the Kufant, the Calamitous Snowy Mountain. The Corse, Corvus, Corvus Squire. Squire, there we go, the Paldean Tauros, the Whooper will not score, the Sprigatito will, will not, not score, score, and the oh, Baxcalibur. The Baxcalibur. Well, the Baxcalibur is an awesome card and super good, but it is only going to get you a single point today, and I suspect it's not even a low value single point. Oh, uh, let's see, 30 cents, yeah. yeah. 30 cents, that's pretty high as far as uh, I, one point packs go. I did see that this exact card uh, over on TCG Player is currently one of the highest rate selling cards. So it's not incredibly valuable, but yeah. it is. it must be so useful that everybody needs it. I bought three today. Wow, well yeah. there you go, contributing to that, that equation. I know. All right, next up we have Mistivios. 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 
Mysterious. All right, Mysterious. Looking wow. for a mystery, maybe. Who knows what happened there? All right, uh, Mysterious. We met them at GoFest last year. They're a high school social studies teacher. Wow. Well, good to good to see you. Hopefully, you'll be back at GoFest this year. We will be. If you want to come see me and Ben in person, not opening Pokemon cards, but instead doing a live version of our podcast, Popcorn Culture, you can come to GoFest. The event is entirely free. Bam! Dark teardrop energy. Let's go. Murkrow. Hey, Mistrubis. there's the Mistrubis. That's what I was oh. just saying. Look at that. Wow. What? That's one of the highest selling cards? No, no, no. no. I was no. saying the Mischievous. I wonder if they get a Mischievous because oh, they oh, sound oh, the same. Okay. And they did. Yeah. There You're right. The Satitan, the Fogner, the Dunsparce, the Valooza does score. The Satoddle will not. And the Luxray will. So that's going to be two points. Two points. Mischievous. It's all right. It's all right. You know, sometimes I feel like our best episodes are the ones where we got a slow start out of the gate. That's right. And that's what we've got so far. Except Exceedingly slow, you but feeling, I'm feeling maybe. Oh, I just got like mad Magikarp vibes from the box. You got mad? Oh, okay. Magikarp's okay. vibes. Magikarp's vibes. Yeah. I like it. I Next like up it. is a Blue Malamute. He's got the Fireball Energy right off the top of the old the, the stack there. Got the Bramble, the Kufon, oh, the, Krogon the Krogon scores. Yeah, that'll score. The Satoddle, the Mismagus, the Bramble Gas, the Superior Energy Retrieval, the Palo Sand will not score. The, the Glimmer Glim will. will score, and the Slacking will. will. So, so three points on the day there for Blue Malamute. And a, a, a high scorer for the day at the moment. I know, so right? We've gone that. from one, two, three on this track. We're gonna be um, we're doing pretty great. Next, is, can we get a four point pack here just four? to continue the trend? I'd be very excited. If it happened for Dom, family man Dom, family yeah, that, that Dominic That's Toretto right. shares a birthday with Vin Diesel. Coincidence? Right. Absolutely not. It is him. It is absolutely not. It's for not sure even Vin him. Diesel who plays Dominic Toretto. It is the literal Dominic Toretto. Literal Dominic Toretto from the movies. Bam! They got another fireball energy. Oh boy! Here okay. we go. The Charcadet, the Murkrow, the Mischievous. This is a very familiar pack. It is. Oh my gosh! And these those three in a row I think happened last time. Talonflame, Ben's least favorite Pokemon. Heracross will score. Right, that's the right one. Yep, Kilowattro, Pupitar will also score. Oh, oh the, the Pseudo Wudo! Look at that Illustrator Rare, and it's a fighting type. And then the Hariyama, which is also a fighting type. Look so, at that. Man, this pack is just designed. Oh, man, I know. Yeah. Wow, that's maybe that's the that. one. All right, so, so we need to look up the Pseudo Wudo. We do indeed. We, see, we have seen it before. I do love this card. It's really cool artwork. It Let's is. See. Number 219 is going to be worth $5.70, so 6, 7. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 points. 11 11. That's points. an impressive Bam. 11 right That's there. That's really good there for Dom, and easily puts them in the lead for the day. Uh, although, where does that put us on the overall leaderboard? 11 points. Oh my gosh, it's so far back. Let's and then we have it. to zoom in. Everything's right. coming up. So 11 points will currently put you in about 13th 13th place. place. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. There you go. There you go. So not a bad spot to be in. You know what? You're in it. You're in an interesting big Steve spot who is at 13 points, by the way. So if you only score like one or two points in your next couple of packs, you might be in a good uh, winning position right there. All right. Next up is Bobby. Bobby, am I up? Yes, you are no, up. No, I think you're up. Oh, okay. Don't take that pack, though. I'm a, I, that's a special pack. No, I think... Yeah, I'll go. Didn't I just pull the pseudo one out? No, I think I pulled it. You pulled the pseudo one yeah. out. So I'm up. This is my special pack. Wow, this is the special pack. The special pack. Calling your shot for Bobby here. Uh, they finished last season with just nine points. So let's see. Can, although nine points, honestly, that'd be pretty good for today. It's not a bad uh, single pack. There we go. It's true. We got go. the, the Krogon will score, the Rukadi, the Magnemite, the, the Phalanx will score, the Practice Studio, the Florigato, the Quaxwell, the Azumarill will not score, the Pineco will not score, and the, the Sableye. Sableye. So just three points. Yeah, that was your special pack right there. That was my right special there. pack. That was my, I was just trying to say that I felt like, you know, sometimes it was, you know, it's going to be a special pack, yeah. and I was just really excited to see the Sableye come through. I mean, okay. I feel like, you know, that was, the, yeah. That was if that's what you were hoping for, that. then, you know, I'm glad. I hope, it, I hope you had the pack you wanted. Right, yeah, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> Half the day you deserve. Half the day you deserve, right? All right, next up we have Maddie, who uh, finished the last four packs Maddie has opened have all been two-point packs. So, Unbelievable. No, and then before, before that was a, was a zero. zero. So Maddie is looking for a redemption pack. Can we get more than two points? Anything more than two is a big win. All right, Salad Energy. The Moschiff, the Wingo, the Pineco, the Mero, the Basimian will score. So it's at least two points. At least two. If history has anything to say about it, it will only be two points. The Nimble will not score. The Palma will score. And the Abomasnow will score. A new record! A new high score for Maddie. Three whole points out of that pack. Well done, sir. Man, absolutely. Call call your your family. You know. Let someone know the exactly. exciting news. I, I, Maddie, look, just open your phone right now. Whoever was your last text message, I want you to open up your phone to them and say, I just set a new high score for myself on CB Boobed. 
Nice. Yeah. And they're gonna be like, what? They're gonna be like, go what on Paul? earth? And you'd be like, sorry, that was a typo. CB cubed. And they'll be like, I don't know what that is. And you'd be like, Carlin Brothers Box Breakers. And they'll be like, huh? And you'd be like, just sign up. It's a game show I'm a part of. Jeez, why are we even friends? All of that. Wow. Yeah. Man, what a trip you just had. An important exchange. Thanks. Send I'm me the screenshot. I'm glad we could be there with you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, next up is Nixie Claw. All right, Nixie Claw. Nixie Claw was a JMU alum of 2009, which means you were there at the same time as my wife. That's pretty cool. That's crazy. I, I almost, were you in the marching band? I almost went to JMU during that time. Man. Myself, yeah. Um, you were almost there at the same time. Almost at the same time. If you ever went to Radford, maybe you guys were on campus together. Hey, how about that? Wow. All right, we've got the Shrudel, the Phalanx will score, the Jigglypuff, the Tadbulb, the Pseudo Wudo Ooh, will there score, it is. the Pelipper, the Fletchinder, the Tandem Mouse will not score, the Practice Studio will not uh -oh, score, but, but the, the Skeleton! That's going to score you some points right there. Let's see, number 37 on the set, although it's a front pager, meaning it's uh -oh. only worth 91 cents. No! Not for a single point, but we'll put it in a sleeve for you anyway. A three point pass. Uh, three wow, point how point. unfortunate. Just, I feel like we're seeing many of them today. Right, 340 HP, less than a dollar. Wow, how wow. unfortunate wow, wow, for wow. Skeledurge. Although there are, this is one of those where there's a several Skeledurge in the box, so this is just the lowest value one. If this is anything like our uh, Quaquavel box, then we'll Ugh. see the other two show up. What an absolutely well. disappointing box. That was a weird one, for, for sure. All, the quack all right, next up is Lauren, as in like Master Lauren, Master Archivist. Hey, wait a second, wait a second. Yeah? Does this, have, this person has a Name of the Wind themed work from home office? Yes! We met Lauren. We met Lauren! We at met RTX. Lauren at RTX! Oh my gosh, that was awesome! That so was, good to meet you! It was. It was great. It Lauren, was great. I'm gonna open your pack just for that. Maybe this is the, this is the pack. Maybe this is the pack. Maybe this is the pack. Okay. Let's find out. Let's see. Could it be type advantage? It's no, not. It's just eyeball. eyeball but that's also a nice, um... Uh, a good omen as well. Wingull, Pineco, Azumaru, Vest Vespaquin, Ice Skew, the Passimian will score, the Bombardier will not, and the Squawkabilly EX will! There we go! There we go, I told you, it was the pack. It was the pack. It Although, was the pack. hopefully that's not our highest scoring card of the day. That's true, number 169 on the set. Let's take a look to see what that's worth that's for us. look here. Hang on, we're flipping through, we're sorting, we're organizing, number 169, $2.71, hey. so honestly more than I would have thought. So it's I would a have four point pack overall. Yeah, Squawkabilly's pretty good because you can uh, play it down your first turn, discard your hand and draw six more cards. So that's really handy. It kind of lets you play like two supporters in a way because that's a pretty common supporter style effect. So very useful card, no doubt. I've been using it myself. Here we go. Next up is Kevin. Kevin. What's up, Kevin? All right, Kevin uh, is somewhat new to the game. Last season was their first season. Doesn't look like they were Rookie of the Day. They had a single point pack on their first pack ever for 15 cents. Uh, but they're a game developer. Okay, okay. Yeah. Kevin also reminds me of Kevin the Bird from Up, so I'm mm. expecting some 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 bird mon. Yeah, for you know, sure. Maybe colorful yeah. bird mon at that. Speaking of colorful creatures, uh, last week in the Discord server, we created uh, Spud, the Salamantato. He's half potato, half salamander. Yes. Uh, he has a full evolution line. Yeah, all that the way was up. discovered later that week. Yep, yep, yep. And he is just amazing and awesome. And if you'd like to come and hang out with us on Discord, you can do so uh, at any of the available tiers at patreon.com slash supercommongaming. Anyway, that's all. So we got the Combi, the Jigglypuff, the, gi the Giraffe Rig, the Tropius. That doesn't really count as a bird, does it? Tropius? Yeah. No, not really. I guess not. It's sort of like a more like a flying Brontosaurus banana neck sort of situation. Yeah. Why not? Why yeah. not? The Delivery Drone that almost counts as a bird. Yeah. The Giraffe Rig, Fer a Giraffe. I really yeah. don't like Ferigraf. this. Ferigraf. Ferigraf. <laughs> yeah. The Spidops. Okay. Okay. So we're really we we have hit no no birds proper. No proper uh, birds. We got the the tadpole will not score. The frigibax will not score. And the, the tinkaton. Tinkaton. There you go. As it were, I was um, buying cards for a tinkaton GLC deck earlier today, trying to round that out. There you go. So drop that guy right into your little little GLC deck yeah, for your right. local comps. Exactly. Actually, I lost to this card at GLC last week. It was super frustrating. <sighs> it happened to have the exact same attack as my Pokemon, but mine was electric, and theirs cost two energy. Less and I was like, why am I playing this card when that exists? So wow, that's changed my whole viewpoint. There you go. Anyway, that's not what's important. What's important up is next up is a uh, Jazzy J Truther. Jazzy J. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So okay. it feels like I should open their pack for it them. It does feel that way. Mm -hmm. does They've been watching uh, SCD since they were in high school. Wow. I, I try not to play favorites, but. 
bam, raucous, pummeling, you're welcome, Jazzy J Truth. I got your back, man. I got your back. This is where Ready? And look at well. this, the top card is also my favorite Mankey, which happens to be a raucous bubbling card. What a great pack for you already. This is working out this so is well. This working out it's... so well. The Super Rod, the Lumnus, the uh, Tauros, the Luxio, the Babastiff, the Relore, the Magnemite, and the Spiritomb. All right, so it didn't end very well, but you know what? There was a couple of seconds there where we had, uh, what, one, Two, four points. So there four, you points. Go. four points. Four points. There back. we go. Yeah, you Jazzy J Truther, you're welcome. You pulled a little bit of something out of a little bit of nothing there. Thanks for your constant so support. All right. Next up is Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Yes. Likes to sew quilts. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. We have a quilt that uh, my wife and I got from our grandmother mm -hmm. when we got married. That was made by my great great grandmother, and we put Addie, my daughter, underneath it the other day, meaning she was sitting under a blanket made by her great 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 grandmother. You have a quilt from our great great grandmother. I do. I do not even know what that is. I'll have to show you sometime. You'll have to. Got the eyeball energy, the giraffe rig, the great ball, the red lore, the quaxley, the toxicrocal score, the rongru, the electrode. The the Tinka Tink will not, the Fighting LA will not, and the, the Hydrogen will. So just a two point back there for Elizabeth. And we're really, we're kind of just like petering along today, aren't we? Yeah, you know what? It just means we're building potential energy. At some it's point, the, the dam is going to break, the points are going to flow big on somebody, because it's, this is clearly the Magikarp box. It's basic, ba ba basic, it's basic, basic. basically going to happen. <laughs> it's basic. Basic physics. There you go. <laughs> I can't talk. All right, next up is a uh, sailor. Well, there's a lot of different names on here for what we're supposed to call you, so I'm not exactly sure. I'm going with Sailor. That's the that's the bottom name written on the card. Sailor. Playing through Platinum for his first time ever on the Pokemon Randomizer. Here we go. Can we do it? We'll say, will you be the Magikarp? Will you be it? Bam, Metal Energy. Metal energy okay. Tank a tank. Yeah, the Mankey. Mankey. You'll love to see it. The Della Bird. The Super yeah, the Iono scores. The Knackle Stack scores. Corvus Squire, Terran Tula. The Garnacle scores twice because it is rare. And then the Hydrogen. So a lot of scoring points there. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow. Way to Man. cobble together some points. Seriously, like Just more. Out of nowhere. At least as many, no, let's see here, five scoring cards total. That's impressive. Yeah, that, that is a, an alarming number of scoring points for a single pack. But you know what else we haven't seen today is the critical hit. Ooh. I feel like that's coming I know, at some I point, know. We right? had We had a good couple here recently. We so. did. All right, next up is Becky Borst. Becky Borst. Becky Borst coming out of a nice season, 24 points last time around. All right, it's Becky. Solid performance. I got you here. I gotcha. Let's see. Do we have? Oh, oh you do got it. The, There's the, the rockus bumbling. Let's got see the, it. The great ball, the hop up, the, the makuhita will score. The pink cushion, the, the passimian will, will score. score. The reversal energy therapy energy. energy. The spigadito will not score. The palmy will not score. Uh, and the mimic the Mimikyu. Mimikyu. So just will. three points times Man. two is gonna be yes. six. Six point pack there. Boy, the rockus pummeling type advantage has not been providing the uh, boost that we have seen from some of the other type yeah. advantages this season. Salad and Eyeball twice, I think, is the others that we've had. Yeah. And they've no been doubt. pretty powerful. They have. All right, next up we have Anthony, who I want to say is at Disney World right now, at least as we're recording. Oh, I don't know if, is it? Ah! Uh, Maybe. Maybe it is. Maybe, I don't know. They're interested in game programming and they are a uh, Doe's older son. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, possibly right. could be at Disney World. Bam. Well, I hope you're having a great time. Dark Teardrop Energy, Snover, Fletching, Clavel, Voltorb, Pupitar will score, Flamigo will not, Bombardier will not, Krogunk does will. not, yeah, does score, sorry. Quaxley does not, and the Mimikyu, back Man. to back Mimikyus, that's weird. Uh, just gonna be a three point pack there for Anthony. Well done, sir. Well done. What I really want to do is instead of doing booster boxes, just going and getting 36 individually oh, yeah. sourced booster packs, and then, and then measuring to see like what the what the pull rates. Right. Yeah. Being, right? Head down to the Ace Hardware, pick up some random booster packs. Yeah, the Ace Hardware, the number one surprising place that you can buy Pokemon cards. You found like a hundred Evolving Skies pack there one day. I, I was did. Like, what just happened? I know. I like walked up. I was buying a hammer or something, and I was like, wait a second. Wait a minute. What is that? <laughs> oh man. Well, next up then is a. Another Lauren. Yet another, another Lauren. Another Lauren. Last season they had 89 points. Wow. Yeah, so that's pretty up there. That must have been 
near the top. That would take down Carly in, that in this would. season right now. So we got the fireball. Yeah, actually, their last pack was an 82-point pack, so they did pull higher than Carly last season. Wow. Okay, so this is someone to watch out for. Yeah. This is someone to watch out for. It's like another a known, more. A known player. So we've got the Tinker Tink, the Pink Curse, and the Nakatito. Oh, we'll score the Magic Card. Magic oh, it's a, it feels like it's it feels coming. like something's stewing. Something's stewing. The Pink Curse, the Crocolore, the Boss's Boss Orders will score. score. The Paldean Tauros will not score, and the Spirit Tomb. Oh, man. So just so a three, three there. Point. But you know what was swimming around in that water? The carp. The carp. The, the carp, carp is swimming. The carp is in motion, man. I'm smelling it. Once at summer camp, a girl fell in with a bunch of carp. It's just like a whole bunch of them. Yeah. Like like so many. I I've, I I remember her as Carp Girl. Yeah, yeah. It was to, to be clear. You were at a summer camp and you were at uh, Smith Mountain Lake Dam. I was. And they have like the, the the fish feeder things where you can throw the fish feeder in the water. This is correct. There's a big pile of carp. And she someone fell, fell on top. Fell on Look, in. someone knows this girl. Someone There's has no one. Everyone who knows that girl knows that story about her. That and story. They have to. They have to. Because how could you not tell it all the time? If not, you know what? Everybody should just start uh, reaching out to their family members and saying. Have you ever fallen in with a pile of carp before? Listen, open up your phone right now. <laughs> here, <laughs> latest awesome. text message and say, listen, do you know anyone who's ever fallen into a pile of carp? And they'd be like, I don't know what you're talking about. And you'd be like, it's on the show I'm watching, CB Cubed. What I would really prefer is if we found this person and there was a way to have them come in here and you communicate with Jay directly and he can provide me with the ultimate element of surprise, which yes. would be being able to re-meet Carp Girl oh my gosh. and hear her story. Can we find Carp Girl? That would be the best. Okay, anyway. We have a Love Disc, Snover, Fletching, Voltorb, Jet Energy, Fighting Olay, Mabasa, oh, Nackley, yep. that scores twice. The Titan will not score, and the Baxcalibur, one of the best-selling cards on TCGPlayer.com. There you go. So that's so. going to be a three-point pack overall for Alyssa, who I did not announce ahead of that pack. Goodness gracious. Wow, I'm sorry, Alyssa. Alyssa, Alyssa loves to cosplay, draw, and write stories. There we go. And get Baxcalibers. Bam. Next up is Chris. Chris. Just Chris. Just Chris. Just Chris training for his first marathon right now. Good luck, no Chris. No way. You're going to crush it, dude. When I saw Chris's full name up there at the top, I was like, this seems like a like a triathlete of sorts. I was yeah. like, it reminded me of like a like a pro cycling name or something. Mm, like you can see your name in the Tour de France. Yeah. So. Marathon training makes sense. Oh, There's the, magic the carp car. is swimming, man. Swimming. It's coming Slurper, around. The Litleo, the Pomo, the Tinkatuff, the Bravery Charm, the Failing score, scores. the Jigglypuff will not score. Hariyama! Hariyama will That's score twice. Be, yeah, so a three point back there for Chris. Not two shabs there. You got the uh, the ultimate uh, farewell Pokemon, Hariyama. Every single time. So when we, we normally uh, exit these episodes by saying, bye! And what I realize is that every time Hariyama's in one of these things, he's always doing the same thing, which is just right there. So, so. That's, that's why we end the episode saying hi. That's right. All right, next up we have Aiden, who loves chess and cricket. Ooh. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Working out the body and the mind. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Maybe playing both at the same time. Uh, uh, cricket is a sport where I don't know a single thing about cricket at all. I know all. there's a wicket. There's a wicket yeah, and a cricket? Yeah, there's wickets and cricket, yeah. A real thing. <laughs> That's a yeah, real thing. Okay. And then instead of pitching, it's bowling, but it's more like you still throw it, but it has to be like overhand and you have to keep a straight arm, and I think you bounce it maybe? Anyway, these are okay. things I know about cricket. That was the wrong order to do the card in your rare cards or choreo. Let's see if you scored anything else. Uh, the Dunsparce, the Noibat, the Sprigatito, the Quaxley, the Skiploom, the Dendra, the Palisand, the Superrod, and the Sandy Gas. So no is oh, the answer. Oh man, Sorry, so just a Aiden. single point with the Oracorio. Single point pack there. You might want to look that up for just some cents and dollars. It is a front pager, number 33 on the set. It's going to be worth seven cents. Wow, solid last place material for Aiden there. Very impressively bad point for you. Well done. Way well to avoid done. every other opportunity to score points. Maybe oh. similar to cricket? I don't know. Low score wins? High score wins? High score wins for okay. sure. It's a game that can go on for a long time. Like weeks? Like I, like at least days. Oh wow. That's I think. Nice. Or, you know, they might have to take a break at some point. Anyway, next up is Kimberly Lee. Kimberly Lee! <clears throat> I feel like Kimberly Lee has been with us from the from There's, the beginning. Oh, no doubt. Has, has had some middling performances here. Season 2, 24 points, but since then, 6, 5, 5. Let's see if we can get Kimberly Lee something Let's something see. to write home about. All right, so we got the Slowpoke, the Litleo, the Rock Ruffle Score, the Pommy Won't, the Gurger, the Grafii, the Titan, the Faulkner, the Corvusquire.
Fire will not score. Oh, oh the Dundun Spars! That is a nice looking card. Oh, oh and a Slow King. I feel like it's been a while just since we've had an EX card come out. I know, out. yeah, we needed something. So number 229 yeah. is going to be that Dundun Spars there. So the Dundun Spars. The Dundun Spars is going to be worth $3.38, so that's uh, four. four. And then the Slow King is number 86. Let's see if that does anything special for us. Is worth 86 cents. All right, so um, four, five, six points on the pack for Kimberly Lee. That's m as many points as she has scored since season three. Wow. Okay. Man. Okay. So, uh, like, not not an all time high, but uh, yeah, it's been a while since then. High. Second best pack ever. Nice. There you go. Oh, and two rare cards either way, so that's always fun. That's true. You get two you know, sleeves. That adds a whole bunch of extra value. It makes right. the, the when you get the envelope in the mail, it'd be like that much thicker. You know, right. It's kind of like, ooh. You get to put them in your binder, but it takes up two slots. You're that much closer to just filling the next page. It's got a nice weightiness to it. Yeah, I love a good weighty envelope. All right, next up is Andy. Andy! Uh, who participates in duck pin bowling tournaments. Hey, that's great. You think that's a cricket or? I, I was going to say the same thing. It has thing. bowling. Right. I mean, they're. they're, and they're I think duck pins kind of look like wickets. Then so maybe they're, they're more similar than I think. Bam, Fireball, Energy, okay. Clavel, Tropius, Regular Dunsparce, Hopip, Quaxwell, Seguro, Ferrigraph. Nice, nailed it. Crocolore, Corviknight does not score, and Weavile will score for just a single point pack, unfortunately. Man. What is our uh, dollar amount on Number that? 134 on the set. We're a couple pages in. Seven cents. Another seven cents or so. Amongst the least valuable cards in the whole set. So impressive, really, at the end yeah. of the day. Yeah. You're right there. Whoever, who'd we just pull that for? No, not Kimberly Lee. Aiden, right? I think. Whoever whoever just got their seven cent or Oracorio feeling safe down at the bottom, no chance. No way. No, no way. way. This, this is not a game not for rest. safety. Exactly. You have to be on your on your haunches at all times. Exactly. Carly. Sitting up there at 80. You think someone else can't pull something big? Like a Magikarp? Yeah, like a Magikarp. You'd be wrong about that. Someone's gonna make a splash. Oh! There we go, there we go. Oh, I got the Rock Ruff. That's going to score the Palmy, the Larvitar will score the Sandy Gas, the Gotharita, the Honchcrow, the, the Pseudo Wudo. Will the score. Weep, is it the Weevil? The Weevil yeah. will score, the Pikachu will not score, and, and the, the Boss's, boss's order. order. So, so one, five two. scoring cards. Five points, yeah, that's Man. amazing. Very impressive. Man, you know what? You feel like Carly just had a shiver go through. Just like, wait a minute. And that was for Rab Rangoon? That was for Rab Rangoon, whose name I forgot to announce. This is their second season, and they finished last season with five points, and now they've already got five more. So Boom! They're basically flying up the uh, most improved player list. All right, next up we have a Chadster. Been uh, playing with this for his third season now. His favorite Pokemon is Piplup. Probably, unless he pulls the Magikarp right here. In which, in which case, case, it would change you're forever. You're obligated to get a uh, Magikarp tattooed onto your body. Ooh! Not Speaking unlike of Ben's brand new tattoo. Look at that! Bam, bam! Oh, man. Yeah, you can see it's still kind of red because it just happened two days ago. So. Yeah, so there you go. Eyeball Energy. Got the Charcadet, the Relore, the Tadbulb, the Frigibax, the Raichu, the Gothitelle, the Arctabax, the Bramblin, the Reversal Energy, and the Tinkaton! Just Man. gotta be my most favorite Pokemon from this gen. It's just a big pink guy carrying an even bigger hammer. Hammer? Super fun. <clears throat> Which only we... one point, I'm afraid. Let's check that for value as well. Yeah, uh, we may as well. 105, just for future us. Take a ton. Let's see, it's giving me worth 13 cents, so really. 13, so it's not like a it's not like a seven center or something, you know. But, but it's also not 30. It's also not 30, that's right. It's better than Skeledurge. <laughs> All right, so uh, next up we have got Bubsy. Bubsy! Let's see, let's see. Their last two packs have both been worth three points, so they probably want something a little bit higher than that. Before, back in season four, they had a 25 point pack. Man, season four pull rates were crazy. I know. I Everyone know. had yeah, new cards. It was a good one. Uh, that was the single month season, yeah. which we are doing again in the month of October. If you are at all interested in getting in on that month, that's where we're going to be opening the uh, 151 yeah, set. We are. Uh, it's going to be so cool. I personally cannot wait. Um, there is a wait list in the description down below. Uh, and we can send you an email if there are any uh, vacancies. Uh, the Larvitar will score right away. The Diano, 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 Sandy Dian Gas, yeah, the Tarantula, the Dedun Sparse, the uh, Passimium will score, the Corviknight, the Heracross, that is the right one, yep. so that will score. Uh, the Geocomo will not, not score, score in the Wiggly. Big so. tough, so four point pack. Four point pack. There we go, all right, well done, Bubsy. Better than your last couple of packs, I can say that at least. There we are. All right, let's see. Next up, we have Brawn. Brawn! 
Does Braun teach Tyrion? No, Braun? Braun. Braun, yeah, Braun of the Blackwell, right? Yeah, yeah. Is he, is, he also, is he the swordsman? He's the swordsman. He's like the mercenary who like fights as his champion, and then yeah. is just sort of his buddy for the rest of the show. Right, 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 right. Bam, okay. teardrop energy. Haven't had a whole lot of uh no, no critical hits today, no or only a couple of uh type advantages. I know, we're missing out on a lot see, of the, the yeah. The Zuelis will not score, the Spy Dops, Pyroar, Low Kicks will score, the Combi does not, and another boss's order. That's the third in the box. Man. Getting for a playset here. So far, I feel like if you had purchased this particular booster box, it could be it could be mildly disappointing. It could be, it but could there's be still like... plenty of packs left here. We can still pull through. There's there's still the there's still the ability. The the chance that it's on the table. It's on the Next table. up is uh Jacob Worginus or Worginus. It's either like the drink Guinness or like the drink gin. And the fact that we never check in between episodes is really a, it's it's part of the tradition at it's, this point. At this point, we just don't know. We just don't know what they are. So we got the Terra and Tula, the Charcadet, the Murkrow, the Mistrevis, the Grusha, the Primeape I mean, will score, the Miss Magus, the Vigoroth will not score, the Sneasel will not score. Oh, oh the Wochian! There we go! Mm. Uh, that's gonna be number 27. So that is a front pager, unfortunately, which uh, is gonna be 80 cents, so. So just a two point pack, even though you pulled that. Uh, the Wochian, I'll tell you what, I played against the Wochian deck this past weekend. How did it do? Oh, I won. Nice. Yeah, yeah so, so don't good. don't put it in your deck. Good feeling. But you could put it in a frame, take a picture of you holding that frame, and then send that picture to us, and send we'll feature it here on the channel. So. The channel. Boom, all right, next up we have 0 for 12. Let, but let's see, how many packs have they gotten? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This is pack 10. Ooh. Unless they were with us for season 1, which I guess they could have been. Season? Maybe this is pack 12, I don't know. Okay, okay. Are they 0 for 12? Bam. Boom, we have the metal energy there. We have Tandem Mouse. Satoddle, Knackle scores two points. Okay. Clay Coco, Giacomo, Ben's favorite Pokemon Talon Flame. Heracross scores, Knackle Stack scores, Gyarados scores, and Lycanroc scores! Whoa. Wow, what a pack! What a pack indeed, number 117. Let's take a peek to see if we've got any value there. Hiding and residing. Looks like bulk EX, but you never know. Yeah, unfortunately that one is gonna be worth 72 cents, so just mm. a single point there. So one, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, there we go. There you go, six point pack, not too shabby. Impressive six, that's not bad. Yeah, I mean, you would never scoff at, at anybody who throws down a six. Yeah, uh, this is this six is their short. best pack that wasn't Crown Zenith. Wow. Yeah. I mean, Crown Zenith, what a set. I know, set. everyone. I, I always look at season four, and I'm like, man, what happened? I know, yeah, it was just like every single <clears> card, it was like, wow, wow. Yeah, everyone wanted the packs. There we go. Yep, there we go. Zero for 12, boom. All right, next up we have Vicky. Vicky! AKA Timmy Turner's babysitter. That's right, you yeah. can't spell Vicky without Vicky, is mm -hmm. what they always say. That's true. Which, I guess is how, you know, it's true, but you also can't spell it without, um, Vic. That's a really excellent. It's just a fact. It's just an excellent point. Were you trying to find another word? V that for be... victory. V, oh, Vic there we go. V for victory, right? Vic for victory. I love it. There yep. we go. Fridgebacks, Tendabouse, Brigantino. I bet everyone names Vicky. Everyone named Vicky hates that show. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure. Yeah. Magnemite, uh, Florigato, Mousehold, Tinkertuff will not score. Hop up. Oh, there oh. we go. Victory indeed for the illustrator art Grusha and the Gyarados. So let's look up that one. That's a cool looking card. That is awesome. That looks that looks like it would have a little more gumption to it. Number 268 on the set. When we go into the last page, never a bad sign. Oh, and indeed, we're gonna be looking at $17.98. So 18, 19 points for Vicky? Very impressive. A Very not impressive. so icky 19 points. There we go. So you pronounce it Grusha, not Grusha? I don't know. Okay, it's I feel like those. I just finished watching Shadow and Bone, and I, they have like the Grisha, and so I feel like my mind goes Grusha. Okay, Grusha, maybe uh, that's right. But I don't know. They're don't the know. ice type trainer. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, right? Bam. All right, next up we've got the, <laughs> I don't know, the blue, the blue Swede? The blue Swede! The blue Swede, not Swede. Our rival of Dalton Green. Yeah, Dalton Green sitting at home right now just being like, oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy, I know. That Cracks is my, knuckles. That is my arch nemesis over there. 
arch rival. So we got the metal energy, you got the Murkrow, the Mischievous, the Sneasel, the Gothida, the Saviper, the Paldean Tauros, the Luxio, the Quaxly, the Superior Energy Retrieval will not score in the, the Orthworm. Orthworm. So just one point, I'm afraid, for the Blue Swede, meaning uh, Dalton Green is just sitting there giving a fist pump. Just, right? just, just have it just a like, big hey, old take life. that. Woo woo! Blue team for life, right? All right, next up we have Dylan Clark. Well, this is like the rival section here. This is a Dylan Clark, hated rivals of Brylive, who we opened up a pack for in the last episode. We did indeed. Yeah, okay, I can't so remember exactly what they scored. And it feels it feels like Brylive have always have always struggled to do anything more I than share points. They had, they had yeah. two points. So two points. You know they're sitting there. They're just like Dylan Clark. Wow. Dylan. Wow. Yeah. Well, yeah. let's see. Um, let's see what Dylan has to say about this rivalry this time. Their last three packs have all been for one point, one point, and two points. So, you know, history is not on their side. Not so much. But perhaps yeah. the odds are in their favor. Oh, <laughs> and indeed, it's at least a two pointer because we've got the uh, type of multiplier there. We've got the Watchroll, the Tinka Tink, the Shrewdle. The Glimit. the Glimit will score. The Kilowatchroll was not. The Azumarill, the Vespaquin, the Seguro does not. Oh, oh! the Paldean Wooper will score, as will the Jumpluff. All right, so uh, Bryliv, you know, sitting there scoffing at home at Dylan Clark's pack here. Which is going to get multiplied times two. It will indeed. So that that Paldean Whooper is going to come in at three dollars forty-eight cents. Okay, so four. four, five, six times two is twelve. Wow! Nice, wow. solid pack for Dylan wow. Clark. Man, well, well done, Dylan, and, and apologies to Brylev, who are inevitably just absolutely fuming. But there's no need to apologize. You know, everyone's playing a fair game here. It's a fair game. It's true. You it's know? true. Definitely based on pure strategy and not random chance. Exactly. Exactly. If Brylev wants to go back and hit the gym. Maybe they can open their phones and text each other right now. <laughs> Should we go hit the gym? Yeah. Like, why? <laughs> like, it's the show I'm watching. <laughs> like, the one we're both on? Exactly. Exactly. Finally, someone gets it. Jeez, all these text messages flying around. Whose tired is it to open? I don't even know. Next up is Stacy. I'm going to open for Stacy. Okay, you do it. On a bad day, the Benjamin and Jonathan always make her feel better. Oh, I think I know what Stacy this is. The, to guess. That, the, the, the Stacy. That's the one. What's up, Stace? How's it going? How is it going? Let's see. So we got the Fireball Energy there. We got the Sneasel, the Gothita, the Meryl, the Wingle, the Bramble Gas, the Toxic Score, the Crocolore, the Watchroll will not, the Love Disc will not. Oh, oh! Jim Bow! Yeah! That's an amazing pull. This is why everyone's buying Backscalibur, by the way, so they can play it with Chen Pao. Nice. Backscalibur lets you play as many water energies as you want from your hand to any of your Pokemon that turn, and Chen Pao lets you grab two water energy from the deck, and it does more damage based on the number of water energy in play. So you can see the symbiosis going on. Also, it's worth $10.99. Wow, so 11, 12 point pack there for Stacy. Very Stacey. impressive, Stacy. Congratulations. Nice. Extremely great competitive pack. card. Love to see it. Bam. All right, next up, we have got Karen. Karen! You know, it was funny, we were doing a live stream last week and somebody was like, I don't understand how box breakers works. Like, what do you mean you get the cards? And in case this isn't clear, we actually send these cards to people, physically. Yeah. They go in the mail and are sent to you. It's not like you're just getting like, to see your points Yeah, accumulated. you're not just scoring points and then we keep the cards. No, 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 you get the cards. <clears throat> yeah. Yes, indeed. All right. Oh, Knackley right out of the top That's there. That's two right the, there. Well, the Shinx. Is that our first Shinx of the day? It might be. It might be. Jeez, what a rare common card. The Rookity, the Pomo, the Gotharita, the Honchker, the Grusha Grusha does not score. The Hydreigon will, and the Faulkner will. Full Dang. art Faulkner. Boy, now we're starting to hit some cards know, here, aren't we? We, we found the, the patch, apparently. From the section of the box we were looking for. Number 251 on the set is going to be Faulkner, <coughs> worth $1.85. Wow, so it's just, just two points. Points. Two, three, four, five points for well, Karen. Uh, actually, I think an extra one for the Nackley. Oh, name, you're right. It's also you the are random. Cool. It shows a chase card. You are correct. It is a six-point pack for Karen. I so hope that one point comes back to matter. I hope so, season. too. I hope so, too. Yeah. All right, let's see here. Next up, we've got Dockery. Dockery! <clears throat> Dockery's played the last three seasons with us. One of the rare people to not have a great crown scene is... Uh, season just five points out of Ooh, there. That's interesting. <coughs> but it's interesting that that was like low. That was for low. That season. A five pointer on Crown Zenith. Come on, Dockery. 
Okay, all right, so we got the, we got the Dark Teardrop, the Mass Shift, the Wingull, the Pineco, the Meryl, the Mabostiff, the, the Pupitar score, the Flamigo, the Luminous Energy. Do I think I see something cool going on back here? No. Oh, oh the Ting Lu EX, a gold Ting Lu at that. That is amazing. Now, Big Steve uh, actually won a tournament last weekend using a Ting Lu EX deck, so perfectly competitive if you want to uh, bring it out. There we go. So the Team Lou is going to come in at worth uh, $5.18. We'll round Man, to six. really? Seven, eight. Yep, yep. So eight points. That's one of those it feels like if you really wanted to, just grab, just scoop four of them for like for a play 20 set. bucks and have a play set of gold ones and people are like, wow, that's so much bling. And you're like, yeah. Yeah, that's what I know. No do. big deal. That's sorry, how about, what was the total point value then? I think it was eight. Eight. I'm sorry. So yeah, we had the Pupitar, the Weavile, and then this was worth six, seven, eight. Yep, that's okay. correct. Man. Eight points for Dockery. Well done, well done. I was throwing shade at you for your crown zenith season and you outdid yourself. Outdid so, yourself. Very well, well done. done. The gold Ting Lu is in the house. Rose to the occasion. That's right. All right, next up is Josh. Just Josh. Just Josh. IU alumni and professional IT nerd. Nice. Boom. All right, oh my gosh. Last season pulled out 25 points, pretty solid. Didn't go below four points in any packs. Let's see if we can keep that trend alive. That's something you want to keep up with. Bam, Eyeball Energy. The Bramblin, the sh nope, wrong, wrong Shanks. shanks nope. yep. Nimble, Moshjif, the Ice Cube, the Iono's two points, the Knackle Sack's a point, the Tyranitar will score, the Giraffe Rig will not, and the Rabska uh, will. So that's gonna be one, two, three, four, five points for Josh. Keeps the above four point line alive. It's a standard we will now hold to you forever and ever. This is crazy. Josh's trend has gone two, two, three, 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 four, 17, four, and now five. So they have been on j nothing but an upwards trajectory with a random 17 spike in there. One Amazing. of the most consistent grinders in the game right now. It's impressive. It it's is. impressive. You know, someone's been hitting the gym, Bryliv. <laughs> anyway. Poor Bryliv is like, what do you do? What did we do? <laughs> You didn't do anything. You're you, great. Thank you for you, being here. Thanks for being on the show and for texting each other. Next up is Hogrid. Hogrid. Okay, so let's see. Let's see what we got for Hogrid here. Maybe a, a unicorn. A unicorn. Yeah, yeah, probably. Is there a unicorn in this set? I don't think so. Let's see. Right. Ooh, we oh, got a rock is pummeling, though. All that right. sounds like something Hogrid would do. It does. We got the Pineco, the Tinkling. The Mankey! Tink a tink, not Tinkling. The Mankey, the Delibird, the Pelipper, the Fletchinder, the Vigoroth, the Wigglytuff will scores. score. The, the Diano will not. And then the. Cerulege will. Cerulege! So, one, two, three times two, six points! Six points! Six points for Hogrid. They're on the uh, type advantage. Not a single critical hit all day yet. Not one! Man, we got, that's we got just a couple packs left, few packs left. Right? All right, and let's see. Next up, we have a Goddess Princess. Wow. Royalty. Royalty. All right, let's see. Can we? I mean, we only have three packs left to pull the magic card. So, okay. You know, we save the best cards for the end. We obviously. obviously. It's, it's, a, it's a planned thing that we we're able to do. Yeah. We have complete control over the cards we pull, which we have no, none at all. Uh, Sprigatito, Magnemite, the Nackley is going to be two points. The Nimble, the Grusha, the Primate scores. The Miss Magus will not. The Gotharita will not. Tandem Mouse, no, and the oh. Low Kicks is just the one. So one, two, three, four points for Goddess Princess. Ties their season total of last season. There we go. Well, four points is never a bad, never a bad place to be. And exactly. really, if you're aiming for like that Big Steve award, you know, you're looking for 14. So it's, it's like you yeah. didn't go, you didn't go too hard and too early. You just needed like a little surge somewhere in there. Exactly. All right. Next up, we have Faith. Used to watch Pokemon on TV, but never has played the game. Man. Well, Man. if you want to watch a really tear jerking moment, and you want to watch Pikachu versus Charizard. Uh, in Check out, yeah, yeah, that's it's a that's a good one. It they, is. They play the they play the song. They do play it. the song, which like twenty years later in the last battle, you're like, ah, oh, me, me. Anyway, it's pretty epic. So we got the Mankey, we got the Deli Bird, the Super Rod, the Love Disc, the Bombardier, the Skip Loom, the Dendro, the Quaxwell will not score, the Calamitous Wasteland will not score, and the, the Glamour will, will, will twice. Twice. So. so one, two, three points there for Faith. <clears throat> Which brings us to our final pack of the day. Our last it's the chance to not. It's the final pack now. Look, 
dumb for calling the Magikarp, right? Uh, well, yeah, it's like, I mean, it could have happened. What? Could it be swimming about? Oh my god. Man, feel nothing like is going to make me happier. If this is a Magikarp, I'm going home after this. So, yeah, that's uh, completely reasonable, um, not yeah. to mention it's like 409. Yeah, so, so it's, it's like basically the end of the day anyway, yeah, but I'm, I'm li- if this is Magikarp, y'all, I'm going to be ecstatic. Yeah, it's going to happen. Ecstatic. It's going to happen. I mean, it might not right. happen. I feel Water. too confident. Good. I have overconfidence that. Let's see. Let's really build it up just in case. Ready? Pikachu. Slack off. Watrol. Fuey Coco. Calamitous Wasteland. Primate, Primate will score. Grushusha will not score. Tinkaton will. Grafi Eye. This is where it would have been anyway. And the Tyranitar. So sadly, no Magikarp. Oh, you've lost it again. Man. Three points to end the pack for Jesse, who was our final contender. Sorry, we didn't even know. Didn't know they didn't even know it was them on the line. I'm I know, yeah. Touch. So, oh my gosh, man, that just makes me feel like it's that, coming. It's coming. It's, it's coming. coming. That's. I feel like we're 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 uh, manifesting it. Exactly, we are. Yes, yeah, so you know. You have the day you want to have. Exactly. Have the day you deserve. Yeah. Have the day you deserve. Have the have a have the yeah. It's a great way to sign off an email. Mm-hmm. Have the day you deserve. Could it be passive aggressive? Maybe. Who's to say? Who's but to it's say? not nearly as bad as Hariyama. <laughs>